So in the past, I've bought some ambitiously big lures and usually, I don't even usually end up throwing them. But recently, I saw the man himself, John Skinner, throwing these giant spoons and catching some striper on them. And I started thinking, redfish, redfish like spoons a lot. Usually, what we're throwing in shore is a spoon like that. The humble weedless spoon for some redfish. And then when we go out to the jetty for some bull reds, we're throwing something a little bit bigger, that big three ounce thick boy right there. When I very first started jetty fishing for some bull reds, I thought that was a big lure right there. But that's not the spoon we're gonna be using right there. How about this guy right there? There's your comparison. This is the one I used to think was a big spoon, and this is the giant. Now, sometimes companies will mark the spoon as being all the way from the tip of the spoon all the way to the end of the treble, but, but this guy is a legitimate nine inch spoon right there. And if you did want to me measure all the way to the end, that's, that's about a whole foot of lure right there. So here's the game plan with these giant lures. We're gonna head out to the jetties, look for some bull reds. I think first of all, we're gonna start off with something a little bit smaller just to make sure there is fish. And then when we find the fish, it's time to try it out. Some giant freaking spoons. Let's make a bet right now, $5. I bet at least one person is gonna say, I should have been here this morning and it was crazy action. All right, maybe I was wrong. No one said nothing yet, but we still got more people to run into. We're gonna start off right here though. Woo. How about that sucker right there? The gold spoon. I'm in the tippy top secret giant redfish spot. And that's why we got the gold spoon, the big three ounce. We're gonna drop that down there. This might be a little bit tough. There's a ton of tide going out, but that might have the fish going. I'll say first 10 casts, we're gonna catch a giant here. Shoot, maybe even the first cast, let's see. <clears throat> if we hook a fish right now, it's going to be an absolute monster. Only the monsters are going to be right here, right now. Nope, rock. Look, there's uh, there's slicks coming, coming off right here. I've seen multiple. There's fish here. And I wonder if it's sharks chomping down another fish though. Wind's picking up, it's starting to rain a little bit, and it's getting a little bit cold. Oh, it's a fish, dude, that's a fish. Holy cow, hook up, hook up. I was thinking rock for sure, it's a freaking fish. Not sure how big we're dealing with yet, but he ate up that spoon. about time boy I don't know he might have oh tarpon this guy is going the wrong way lift it up get it over the rocks and we dropped him dude no and I'm about to find my hook is bent out no nope. scale though that's a weird looking scale fellas no It's time, fellas. We have proof of fish. We're going in with the giant spoon. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. These are some big fish too, so. Oh, that freaking heli. I don't wanna nail him. That does not cast well. Off the rip, it does not cast the best. It's not really a casting spoon but it is a fluttering spoon. So it should look nice on the fall. Look at that. See that cast it further, but it was just purely with the wind. Might've got hit right there. Am I crazy? Nah. Nope. Wait, it did get hit. It got hit, boys. The big freaking giant nine inch spoon got freaking ate up. No way, dude. No freaking way. Dude, back in the day before I fished the jetties, I always thought of redfish preferring small baits. I saw the freaking three ounce spoon and I thought that was huge. This is, oh my God, dude, he's ripping. He dropped it, dude. He dropped it. No shot. You kidding me dude you're pal man I'm pissed bro look at this freaking chunk freaking slab of metal man how how does it even get the hook 
How does he shake this hood? I'm not gonna complain, I'm just gonna get right back in. With the Tony Maha, 50 freaking dollar, I don't know, I think it's $25 spoon. Dude, I think that wasn't even on the initial retrieve either. So that's good. If it, if it still looks good after I'm lifting it and everything, I know it would look good on the initial retrieve. But if it looks good on the lift, then we might have something here. We might have something. Isn't it amazing too how the fish we actually hooked, how we did get hooked? I mean, how does he, it's not like, I don't think they could just swallow this whole thing at once. They could bite here, 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 and not get the hook. But I guess if they attack it from behind, that's when they get the hook. That being said, if it is a, a really big red, they, they could suck the whole thing in, in their big mouth. <laughs> That fish! Woo! No way! What is this? I cannot believe that they're eating this, dude. What? Look at that! Oh no, this might be another lady. Am I crazy? No way, right? Because he was pulling. Nah, this is maybe another lady. I don't know. It's feeling so weird. Maybe it's because. I might have. I don't know. I'm so confused. I'm actually insanely confused. It's got weight though, I feel like it's, I have no idea. I have no clue. It's a snagged red. No, it's a small red. It's a small red, it's a giant spoon. No freaking shot, dude. He's not small. He's probably oversized, but it's not the monsters we've been hooking up on. And that's just insane how he can eat that. How he chooses to munch on this that's crazy man i this is opening my eyes to big lures man he's definitely oversized but let's go over here oh. you're trying to run away bud you can't resist that giant spoon boy he's not he, he, he's way oversized i was kind of thinking it was like a 30 but he's way bigger than that that's insane, dude. I cannot believe it. Dude, I'm not gonna, this spoon might be getting me more bites than the, the actual three ounce spoon. That's the bizarre thing. Look at that. That ain't no small fit. No! I got you, bud. <laughs> That ain't no small fish. Don't drop, don't drop. That is a nice little bull red right there, but it's not the giants we've been hooking up on. This is a big fish, but it's not the giants we've been hooking up on. I'm, I'm amazed that he ate this giant spoon. Look at that dude, look how big, look how big that spoon is. Even compared to this pretty big fish. Man, that's crazy dude. I, I'm kind of loving this spoon, man. See you big man. Oh. The good thing too, we're not catching them super deep. So they're gonna be able to go back down right to their homes. And dude, there's a freaking school boys. Don't be mistaken. There's this freaking school out there. Still haven't landed the giants we were hooking up on. So we're gonna keep casting. I'm not stopping until the sun runs out where we catch those giants. Whew. Insane. I can't believe it, dude. I honestly can't believe it. I'm loving it though. Come on. This is nutty, dude. They're loving this spoon, boys. I thought there was a chance they might like it, but they love it. <laughs> Dang, that's crazy. Let's go. Holy cow, dude. Let me get a little bit low. I got hit already, dude. Holy. Oh, we got hit. Oh my God, dude. Next cast. Back to back. Back to back on the giant Tony Maha spoon. Again, it doesn't feel like a giant. I think uh, the, maybe the giant spoon in their mouth does obviously affect the fight, but he doesn't even have the weight. Does not have the weight of those giants we were hooking up on. I'm not mad about it though. It, 
that just shows this spoon's even more versatile. They can hit these mid-sized guys too. I love it. And the weird thing is, even even till today, I was thinking sometimes the the three-ounce spoon is too big. This might be a freaking slot red. Holy cow. Nah, it's probably a little bit bigger, but no, it might be slot. Are you joking me? These fish are nuts, boys. These fish are nuts. That's bizarre. Let me see. Nah, he's above slot. He's maybe, that might be the 30 I thought the last one was. Bang! Dude, am I, am I crazy for thinking that's insane? This is maybe a 30 inch red, 31 maybe. And he's eating up that freaking giant spoon, dude. Are you kidding me? Holy cow, dude. They're freaking getting it in the mouth too. I don't know, I can't believe it. All right, big fella. Little fella, man, that's crazy. This is sick as hell. This is the dream, boy. We're making our own dreams out here. We're making our own dreams. Dang, fellas, we're running out of time. Sun's, oh man, sun is gonna be down here soon. I'm having so much fun with this spoon. Let's try and get a few more. At least one more, hopefully. Hopefully they're still biting. Had to retie real quick. Dang. I'm loving it. And there it is. There it is. Cast it to a different spot that I hadn't tried yet. And I found the rock. There goes $50. The Tony Maha. No. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this tiny little thing we're about to talk. Oh my. This is so small. It is a thick boy, but. It is small. I used to think this was a huge bait. I'm bugging. This is opening my eyes, fellas. Not gonna lie, that was super fun, man, and kind of an eye opener at how big of baits those fish will eat. As I always say when I'm trying silly things like that big old spoon, there are some issues with it. It's a huge, but a pretty thin spoon. It does not cast very well. It casts pretty bad, actually, and a lot of times at the jetties, you do have to cast a certain distance to get past the rocks on the bottom and at the jetties a lot of times if you're fishing the bottom like you do with spoons you do need something that's going to cast pretty far just to get beyond that ledge of rocks that's going to hook you up every time and this the spoon even casting with the wind it, i think it just barely got there and the other thing is man these spoons are super expensive and even if you do cast it to the right spots you're still going to get cut off sometimes by fish and by just random rocks that all being said the spoon did work really well so i don't know man i might get another silver one and keep using it every now and again. Definitely not all the time because I don't have that kind of money to lose that kind of spoon. Now that's just one of the interesting lures I wanted to try out for these big redfish. Next time we will be using something else that I think might actually be super, super good for these redfish at the jetties. Make sure to subscribe so you can see that next time. Love you guys very much. We'll talk to you guys later.